Me and my family love to travel. Whether it be New England, the Pacific Coast Highway, Mexico, and even up to Alaska. But all of these trips were only up to a week long. So naturally we thought, what if we took a 15 day road trip up the entire east of the United States with pretty much no plan? What's the worst that can happen? Oh no. Got a bit of situation here, flat tire. We're here at Lake Lanier up in northern Georgia. We're just checking it out. They got a little beach down there. Good morning everyone. It is day two. Still don't know how many days it's gonna be. Uh, I, I mean, I guess you know from the title of this video, but today I believe we're going to make it to Tennessee. I mean, I never really know where we're going. That's kind of the point of this trip. There's no destination, really. We just take it slow and just enjoy it, you know? Being at this park was somewhat of an accident, actually, because we didn't know it at the time, but we've already been here before. <laughs> it was back in 2021, but it was pretty cool to revisit. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, one thing I didn't miss about this place was the amount of stairs. Great Smoky Mountains. Well, we're going tubing. Was not expecting this. Pretty great way to experience the Smoky Mountains, honestly. Here we go. Smoky Mountain tubing. It's a crooked shot, but it doesn't matter. Crooked shot. <laughs> what? After all that, we checked out this amazing view of the Blue Ridge Mountains, but little did we know we would be seeing the craziest wildlife in the trip. And I'm not talking about this animal. Oh my gosh. Wow. That's insane. Little baby bear up there. <laughs> Such a crazy sight. That was awesome. Today's day four of the road trip up north. Once again, I don't know what our destination is. That's kind of the trend right now. We'll see.
only been like four days on this trip, but I feel like I've already made countless memories. And this isn't even the best of it. There's still so much more to see. But for now, we're heading up the country roads of West Virginia. Eric, you got the famous SpongeBob popsicle. Sure did. It's so perfect. Yeah, look at this side. It's beautiful. <laughs> We stopped at this little abandoned amusement park. You kind of see it from here. Wow, this was probably one of the best days of the trip so far. What we had going on tomorrow was even crazier. This is the New River Gorge, and tomorrow we're whitewater rafting on that. So after seeing this concert at our amazing campsite, before we knew it, we were awake at 7 a.m. to get ready for one of the most challenging things I've ever done. Erica, how are you feeling? It's fun. It's really fun. I haven't fallen out yet, so... As of right now, we're probably in the most scenic part of the trip. But this tiny waterfall, that's nothing. We were not expecting to see this big of a waterfall. Imagine no country. It isn't hard to do. Nothing to kill or die. very cold but it's nice breakfast under a bridge city of Pittsburgh we're going to our 265 north we're going to our camp we're going to our campsite in New York tonight that took him three tries. Falls look ominous. Yep. Being here 
honestly felt so crazy just because of how many films have been made here and that it's just one of the most profound parts of America. It may be a little commercialized, but you know, it's still beautiful. We're about to ride the Maid of the Mist Woo! to Niagara Falls. Chicken. He's eating a whole rotisserie chicken. Look at that thing. Good morning, everyone. It rained last night. Hard. Like, really hard. <laughs> Got in the tent a bit. Uh, it's alright now. I mean, it's kind of nice, honestly. I'm not even that tired, so... Let's get the day going. We're exploring Toronto today. Ooh, new country. After camping a few miles from the city of Toronto, we started our travels up the country of Canada, where we eventually spotted Canada's Wonderland. Definitely one of the best amusement parks I've ever been to. We got a hotel for a night since we've literally been camping every single night on this trip, so it was just a nice little halfway break point. Whereas the next day, we pretty much just drove all day. We are now back in the United States, in Michigan. This is a new state for us. So that's cool. We finally arrived at our campsite on Lake Michigan, where we watched this beautiful sunset. It was just amazing. Cooking some SpaghettiOs on the fire. <laughs> <laughs> on day 13 of the trip, we found ourselves on a boat headed to one of the most unique places we've ever visited. somewhat magical. I mean, the whole thing felt like a fairy tale. The smell of chocolate fudge on the streets, this incredible pizza, and everything runs on horsepower here, literally. steps. We have acquired the fudge. Here on Whitefish Bay, 17 miles away from the shipwreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald. Shipwreck Museum.
watch Sunset on Lake Superior. got our souvenirs from the highway. Erica's got her uh, flower hat there. Flower crown. Okay, and then I got these fancy shades. Oh, and the old tire right next to my feet. Road tripping with my two favorite allies. Fully loaded, we got snacks and supplies. It's time to leave this town, it's time Our last campsite, setting up the tent. Let's go get lost in a Let's go get lost, let's go get lost Blue, you sit so pretty west of the wall Sparkle light with yellow icing Just a mirror for the sun Just a mirror for the sun final day of the road trip. It is day 17. We've been camping for 17 days straight. It's been a crazy journey. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed watching all of it, you know. But yeah, today's the final day. I'm going to take you along and keep enjoying it. Well, that might have been my favorite trip of my entire life. I mean, it was just a wild journey. All the way from the rolling hills of Appalachia, the country roads of West Virginia, the misty Great Lakes and rocky Canada, and everything in between. But after 17 days on the road and 17 days of camping, our journey ends here, and it was definitely a good one. <laughs> <laughs>